uh, here i will discuss about the experimental study of photoelectric effect right so earlier as you know that uh, we had discussed about the uh, electron emission work function and uh, work function told that the it is the minimum energy uh, which is required to escape the electron or eject the electron from the surface of any material which is measured in terms of the electron volt we define the one electron volt in terms of the joule that is 1.6 into 10 raised power minus 19 joule right then after we have discussed about the different values of the work function for different material which depends on the uh, nature of the material properties of the material and the nature of the surface then after we had discussed about the three different physical process by which one can observe the emission of electron from the uh, surfaces right and the basic history of you or you can say the development uh, uh, into the photoelectric effect study and first Hertz then after Halvex and Leonard right and now I am discussing about the uh, experimental set of study of the photoelectric effect this uh, tube is a vacuum tube right so this is a vacuum tube in which you see that there is a window this is a window and above it there is a source this source uh, i told you is uh, a monochromatic source type and the wavelength is so short why we are keeping short wavelength monochromatic source because of this short wavelength if you see here this formula nu is equal to c upon lambda if lambda is a small frequency will be high so keeping short wavelength you are getting high frequency light and you that light is falling on the sur this surface of the metal and as a result what happens that this energy which is required to eject the electron from the surface acquired by the electrons and as a result electron emits and moves towards the anode this is anode plate this one and this is the cathode right this is a cathode plate emitter as you know and this is the collector because it collects all the electron why it collect because it's a higher potential as compared to the cathode then all the electrons which are negatively charged particle obviously will attracted by the anode right here you see this is a commutator segment commutator segment if you know is the reverse key it change the direction if suppose this wire is coming right now through this one and then after this so it is connected by this way similarly here this wire is coming from the anode and it basically connect to the other hand second side of the battery right so this is an emitter and this is voltmeter in parallel here the emitter basically current we measure in terms of the micro ampere this current actually is very small and the amount of current can be increases if you increases the potential difference between the cathode and anode and second thing obviously that is the voltage of the battery at which this basically take place emission of the electron so this is a photosensitive plate emitter we are saying this one is the photosensitive plate 
and the second point which we are saying we are saying that plate a that is the collector can be maintained at a high desired positive or negative potential with respect to the c c is cathode a is anode so you can keep the a negative or a positive it depends on you right so uh, how you can change the potential of anode plate or collector plate this can be possible by the variable resistance if you will keep the resistance here right now this is first position suppose there is a very small resistance in between the emitter voltage and the collector voltage but if you are increasing the distance it means you are increasing the cost of the resistance right cost in the sense uh, value so this is the basic point about the experimental study of photoelectric effect in the next section we will see that how it basically depends on the frequency and intensity of the monochromatic source and then after the uh, discussion about stopping